All right, I'm out in the garage today working on this battery charger. It uh, worked for about four years and now it just flashes blue screen. So I took it apart, don't see anything wrong with it, so I'm going to have to come up with something different. First, it's time to teach Stanley a lesson. Well, apparently they don't make them like they used to. So, I need a battery charger. I could go out and buy one, but why not just make one? I've got stuff around the garage I could make one with. Alright, so I've got this alternator off of an old Mercruiser 305 boat. And, uh, I think it still works. So I've got this electric motor. A boulder, a bracket I can use for the alternator, and some battery cables. Okay, this alternator doesn't sound the greatest. And it was actually seized up when I pulled it off, but I would assume that it did work the last time the motor ran, so we'll give it a shot and see what happens. So we're going to mount these to this board, and I'm going to have to cut that bracket a little bit shorter to mount to the alternator to the board. And then I just got to make a belt tensioner. I looked around the garage and found this turnbuckle, and I think if I shorten it up, it might work. I gotta make a mounting bracket here, so I think probably I'll cut it off somewhere along there and then probably need to keep the hole closer to this end so these blades aren't chopping into this. So probably somewhere like right in there, drill a 3 8 hole, do the same thing on the other side. So I made this bracket, you screw it down to the board, then the alternator can pivot on that so you can tighten the belt. So then we just got to get this turnbuckle made to adjust the belt tightness. Make sure you wear safety glasses. Uh, I learned that the hard way. One time I uh, got molten steel flung in my eye, had to go to the hospital, and they dug it out with a magnetic needle. And then I had to go to a specialist and they had to drill my eye out with some kind of scotch bright thing on a drill where they clamp your head in it to where you can't move. I gotta say, not something that I want to do again. Alright, that's what this looks like after I cut that off. So the idea is to put it back in here drill a hole through there, space it back a little, belt shouldn't touch it, and then it can pivot up and down, whatever it needs to do there. So I got a 30 inch belt and apparently I guess a little too short, so this turnbuckle is a little long and I can't find another one that's shorter, so I'm just going to make a bracket to make it work. I mean, this is kind of a goofy project anyway, so what's it matter? So we're going to kind of weld up a couple brackets here together. So, I've got it basically here now. Um, I think I'm going to do is drill a hole right through here. Cut these off. Drill a hole right in the top corner. Bolt it together then the turnbuckle can tighten the belt. So basically this is what we end up with and I'm just going to stick a bolt through there then should work.
pretty crude, but gets the job done. Yeah, I know it's not the most conventional way to do this, but it works. Well, it didn't explode, so that's a start. So I've hooked it up to a battery, and I'm getting nothing out of it till I just touch that purple wire to the positive, and now we're getting charged. So testing it out on the old jet boat here, seems to actually work, believe it or not. Putting out 15.2 volts. I'd say it's at least a temporary success till I can buy a new battery charger. I was wondering if these battery cables were going to be big enough for this size of an alternator. It's only a 55 amp, but it's actually, believe it or not, the same exact size wire that was hooked onto it when it was in a boat. So I figured it's probably going to be all right. But I've ran it now for probably about 20 minutes, and the cord doesn't even feel the slightest bit warm. So I would say it should be fine. After I finished this, I remembered that I had a bolt gauge that I had from another project, so I went ahead and stuck that on here and wired it up. So is this project absolutely ridiculous? Yes, that's why I liked it. See you guys next time.